Could Venus, our neighboring planet, once a fiery inferno and now a hothouse swathed in clouds of sulfuric acid, be a cradle for life? This question has spurred astrobiologists and scientists worldwide to delve deeper into the mysteries of Venus and its potential for life. Today, we'll explore an intriguing experiment designed to simulate the extreme conditions of Venus's atmosphere and investigate the complex chemical reactions that may occur within. Picture a sealed chamber meticulously constructed to mirror the atmosphere of Venus. This chamber brims with high concentrations of sulfuric acid aerosols, elevated temperatures and intense pressures. A light source carefully calibrated to emit radiation akin to the solar spectrum reaching Venus's cloud layer simulates the effect of sunlight on chemical reactions. Within this chamber, a diverse set of 20 amino acids similar to those found on Earth are introduced at concentrations that reflect estimates of Venus's atmospheric composition. Once the sulfuric acid aerosols and amino acids are evenly distributed within the chamber, the artificial sunlight source is activated and temperature and pressure settings are tweaked to mimic Venusian conditions. The experiment then operates continuously over a prolonged period, allowing for sustained chemical reactions and cycling of vaporization and condensation. Throughout this process, regular samples of the chamber atmosphere and aerosols are taken to analyze changes in chemical composition, track the evolution of organic molecules, and identify new compounds. The expectation is that this experiment will showcase a flurry of complex chemical reactions. As the amino acids react with sulfuric acid under the influence of artificial sunlight, they may form new compounds or undergo modifications. These reactions could include sulfonation, oxidation or other chemical transformations. The vaporized mixture will cycle through phases of evaporation and condensation, possibly leading to the concentration of certain compounds or the formation of aerosol particles. Additionally, the artificial sunlight will drive photolytic processes where light energy is absorbed by molecules, instigating chemical reactions or the breaking of chemical bonds. While the formation of new compounds and the evolution of organic molecules are anticipated outcomes, the ultimate goal is to gain insights into prebiotic chemistry in extreme environments. This experiment could offer clues about the origins of life on Earth and the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. In conclusion, while the leap from complex chemistry to living organisms remains a theoretical question with many unknowns, experiments like this Venusian atmosphere simulation are invaluable. They push the boundaries of our understanding of life's origins and fuel the ongoing search for life beyond our home planet. As the quest for extraterrestrial life continues, we may find that the answers we seek lie not in the farthest reaches of the cosmos, but in our own cosmic backyard.